Frank Sinatra's wild personal life, Sinatra and John F. Kennedy threw swinger parties. Sinatra was charged with adultery. He almost shot himself and Ava Gardner. Marilyn Monroe turned down his marriage proposal. In 1934, Sinatra was cast in an erotic picture. He was 19 and made $100. He did everything he could to keep the film secret. Sammy Davis Jr. had a copy. He had secretly made one at a party. Sinatra forced him to destroy it. Four years later Sinatra was charged with adultery. It was a crime back then. The singer was released on bail and the case was dismissed. Sinatra was a notorious ladies' man. He was married to Ava Gardner and courted Grace Kelly. He dated Marilyn Monroe for two years. They had an open relationship. Monroe was addicted to alcohol and drugs. Sinatra showered her with gifts. He gave her a mint coat and a white poodle. He paid for Monroe's hotels and dinners. He proposed to her multiple times. Monroe never accepted it. Frank Sinatra was pals with JFK. He allegedly wept for three days when he found out about his death. JFK ended their friendship once in office. He didn't want to be linked to Sinatra, who had mob ties. Sinatra was even investigated by the FBI. They had a 2,403-page file on him. Sinatra and JFK did have a blast in their day. Their LA parties were pretty wild. They invited fans, especially women. There were massage rooms for attendees. Paul Anka was there. He recalled, I saw the reality, Kennedy and the hookers, the women who hung around Frank, and the mob. The FBI tried to expose one of these parties. They asked one hooker to wear a wire. Then Senator John F. Kennedy was their main target. However, the girl refused. Paul Anka also mentioned Angie Dickinson. Sinatra allegedly told him she was his best bedfellow. Sinatra was a demanding partner. He wasn't fond of revealing outfits. His women weren't allowed to wear perfume. At the same time, Sinatra had many insecurities. He hated being photographed from the left side. He had been injured with forceps at birth. A scar extended from the corner of his mouth to his jawline. As a teenager, he was plagued by acne. Sinatra used makeup to hide his scars. This singer had the nickname Scarface. He was also 5 feet 7 inches. To seem taller, he wore shoes with heels. Sinatra's preferred drink was Jack Daniels. A bottle was even put in his casket. This is a gentleman's drink. He'd say. Sinatra had his own gang, the infamous Rat Pack. He became the leader after Humphrey Bogart's death. It included Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop. They ruled the showbiz industry. They referred to themselves as the Clan or the Summit. They played together in Ocean's Eleven and Sergeant's Three. But Sinatra's life wasn't all parties and women. He even tried to kill himself several times. Once he put his head on the stove and turned on the gas. He attempted suicide three times while he was with Ava Gardner. One day, he put a gun to his head. Gardner tried to take it away. The bullet ended up hitting them both. Sinatra died of a heart attack in 1998, aged 82. Allegedly, his last words were, I'm losing.